To reliably identify a Sorbus occuparia, we're looking for the following features. A grey bar, sometimes with purple undertones, with prominent raised horizontal lenticels, dense stone cyme of white flowers, each one individually five petaled, with lots of fine white to cream coloured stamens. And these perfect flowers resulting in a cluster of palms, red, berry like fruit, borne densely at the end of sprays, um, changing from green through orange to red through the summer, and then quite often as they turn red, being fed upon by birds, particularly thrushes. The leaves are alternate on a grey to brown twig. And the leaves themselves are pinnate, which means they're made up from a central rachis and a set of separate leaflets. Each leaflet is an elongate oval shape with lots of fine serrations, making it really quite an attractive feathery leaf. This is a relatively small growing tree, often rather upright, and, and sometimes in the wild multi-stemmed, often used for uh, garden and landscape planting because it's a suitable size for a relatively small open space. And the buds born alternately on the twig um, are brown but noticeably felty and elongate. 